Hey guys, I just uh, got another clue for your little clue bag when you're working on these Yukons. I took my Yukon in to get it registered and inspected, and as part of that process, they do an emissions check. They check the emissions by plugging into your OBD2 port. So they came back and said that I failed because my Yukon's OBD2 port was non-responsive. So I thought, okay, that's kind of an odd thing to happen because, you know, those are connected to the engine computer, which, uh, you know, seemed to be working just fine, so okay. Um, anyway, let me just show you. So there's my scan tool. If I turn on the Yukon, it should, it should power on, but it doesn't. So I got all up in here and I pulled out wires and messed with all that junk. Then I decided that it must be something fuse related because all those wires looked good. So I came up here, started going through these fuses. Um, there's a lot of different things that it could be. I mean, a lot of wires run up through that area. So I ended up narrowing it down to the uh, this little one right here. The uh, 15 amp cigarette lighter fuse, which is this little guy right here. So I pulled it out to check it. Sure enough, long fuse. So if you're smart, you have some spares. I took this 15, put it in there. I probably should turn my car back off. It's working now. So there it is. Get the glare off there for you. and emissions tomorrow. I remember when I tore this on that, you know, those videos I made on the stereo, I remember that these, uh, these two cigarette lighters didn't work very well or at all. I remember there was something goofy about them. So it actually kind of makes sense that there would be some issue with those because those are on the exact same fuse as that OBD2 port. So I'm betting they work now that I just replaced that fuse. I didn't care before because there's like two right there, you know, one inside here, these two right here, so I've just never used them. But anyway, I can see that there's value in fixing that fuse because it also controls your OBD2 port. So you cannot pass emissions if your OBD2 port is unresponsive. And if you are in a situation like I was in, just go outside first and check your fuses. In particular, check that 15 amp and I bet that'll solve your problem. And you're welcome.